Hello, my name is Megan and I'm here with Seven Stories, the National Centre for Children's Books, and I am very excited to bring you our story today. We are going to be reading Hands Off Our Tree by M. Kitto. It's a brilliant story with lots of different animals and noises. In fact, I would love you to join in with as many noises as possible. Our story starts with some scraping and some crunching. And if you could do some scraping and crunching noises too, that would be brilliant. Actually, we start our story with everyone fast asleep. So, shall we get comfortable? Close our eyes and listen out for our scraping and crunching. Ready for the story to start? looks rather cross that I've poked her in the eye. I'm in my bed of curled up ferns. It's dark and warm and safe and dry. Sorry, I whisper with a whiffle of my snout. But something woke me up just now. What can that be all about? A rumble up above. A grumble in the ground. I take a breath, about to ask. Scream! Crunch! <gasps> What's that noise? My mama's ears begin to twitch. What's that noise? The toads croaking from their ditch. What's that noise? A deer stamping rather cautious. What's that noise? The lark singing a nervous chorus. What's that? Hey! That's what I want to know. Mama tuts, lifts her paw and shushes my mouth. I mumble, brr, brr, brr. maybe it's a monster creeping out from underwater. She shakes her head, says no, it's actually much worse. <gasps> it's a great big human! A squirrel spots him first. We stick our heads out from the burrow to eye this clomping giant. <gasps> there he is. Black stomping boots crunching the frost, chomping up the quiet. He drags an axe, bright red and winking, slicing through his tracks. Now, every forest has one, a favourite tree that is. It may not be the prettiest, the biggest or the bushiest. It may not be the tastiest or the greenest one around. But it's the one we choose to celebrate, the one we decorate. In spring, we wrapped daisy chains around its spindly trunk. In summer, butterflies in bulk make gorgeous little baubles. In autumn, blackberries and golden wheat made up the branches lively. And now, it's winter time. Best of all, evergreen sparkling with dazzling snow and ivy. Yes, Thetford folk love this tree most. And that's exactly where he's heading! <gasps> this orange jacket brute not watching where he's treading! The whack goes the axe. Crack goes the tree. Attack! cries the... Oh, me! Before I know what I'm doing, before I have a plan, before Mama holds me back, I'm running for that man! Now, I'm just a little stoat, tiny even for my age, but that's not going to stop me. This villain wants my tree! <gasps> that pine is mine! I yell. I scramble at his laces, chew his heavy boot. Hm. He looks at me in wonder, the strange thing on his foot. But while he's looking down, the others start to act. Everyone is with me. I don't have to ask. Wait. Everyone? That must mean us too. Can you join in with all the animal actions? Ready? Herons flap frantically, shoving feathers up his nose. Squirrels chuck their nuts. Acorns as it goes. Rabbits kick their strong back leg, leave paw prints on his jeans. Ants march up his axe, nibbling arms he thought safe inside sleeves. Now, Mama comes. An army right behind her! Oh, the fish leap out shooting arrows of icy water. A 
as newts and toads and rats and voles advancing from the lake. Come on, they cry, shouting at the snake. Stags charge, moles lassoing on their backs. The man stumbles over, crumples like a sack. He lands in a holly bush, oh, winces and cries out, oh, shoe stuck in the mud. <laughs> He'll have to do without. Foxes bark and yip and yelp. What an awful racket. The man drops his axe, scrambles through the thicket. One last kick, oh, landing squarely upon his rump. Off he goes, bye bye. It was just a little bump. He's gone, we cheer. We shout, Mama nuzzles proudly, tickling my ear. The pine needles rustle, say good morning to the sun. It's very quiet now, our battle cries are done. But not for long, we start to sing. Can't help but dance, join paw and claw and hoof and wing. Spinning round and round, celebrating. We saved our tree! Now to decorate, working hard together. Red berries dotted everywhere, snowflakes sprinkled by robins twirling in midair, icicles, of course, yellow flowers from a grouse, fireflies make fairy lights and ivies like a tinsel. Look at our branches twinkle, and perched on top, where a star might go, a big muddy boot with a hole for a toe. Oh. Give yourselves a round of applause. What a lovely story. Shall we do one last hooray together after three? Ready? One, two, three, hooray! Oh, if you were in that story, which animal do you think you would be? Do you think you would be flapping your wings or throwing nuts, kicking, marching, charging, lassoing, yelping? Or would you be the star of our story, the stoat that was nibbling at his big boot? I feel very inspired by that story. And I might go out now and find my own favourite tree and see if there's anything I can use to decorate it, like branches or berries or acorns. You might want to do that too. Or you could collect those things, bring them home and draw your own favourite tree and then use those to decorate it. Well, I hope you enjoyed Hands Off Our Tree by M. Kitto and I will see you next time. Goodbye everyone! Bye!